قد كانت موازاتي لنفسي دائما ان الله لا يخبر قلبا لجأ اليه Everything happens at the right time. If Allah has delayed it, it's for a reason. If Allah has blocked it, it is for a reason. If Allah has not allowed it, it is for a reason. And every time the reasoning of Allah is superb. Why is it that we're celebrating Ramadan? What's so amazing about Ramadan? Our minds associate Ramadan with hunger and thirst. And we more importantly associate it with fried foods at Maghrib time. It's a festive thing, it's a beautiful thing, yes. But the spirit of it, the purpose of it, when Allah spoke about it, the first thing He told me and you is, this month is valuable because the Qur'an was sent down in it. This is the month in which the course of humanity shifted. And I make it a point to say that because if Allah can transform the course of the future of humanity in that one month, how much change can He bring into my life in that one month? We have the Qur'an today because of this month. SubhanAllah. Like just to remind yourself of that through the course of these 30 days. If your hardship, your difficulty, your calamity, your loss brought you closer to Allah even one inch, it was a gift for you. And if your loss, your challenge, your difficulty, your calamity took you away from Allah long term, it was a punishment. Hadith says, if the dunya had the weight of the wing of a fly or mosquito, Allah wouldn't have given it to, to the people that don't believe in Him. Nothing to Him. Point, dear ones, what is grand, what is expensive, what, what will add value to your life, what will give meaning to your existence, what will make your life better lives is when you live lives of purpose. Dear ones, live lives of purpose so that in salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillah. Everything that I do is for Allah Rabbi. That's a good life. Allah knows what He's doing. Perhaps in your negativity, there will be so much positivity. Just give it time. Just be steadfast. Continue in your patience. He will reward you for the patience that you endured, even if it was a lifetime. And Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu, when his mother was a disbeliever, he went to her one day and she abused the Prophet So he went and complained to the Prophet and the Prophet said to him, Ya Abu Huraira, be good towards her still. And Abu Huraira said, can you make dua for Allah to guide my mother? And Rasul made that dua. He said, I went back home and my mother would not open the door. She said, son, don't come in, I'm bathing. After she bathed, she put her clothes on and came out to me and said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadan rasulullah. Abu Huraira from that day, his relationship with his mother was so intense that till today we use Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu in most of the hadiths in relation to how to treat his mother and father. They used to say, why doesn't Abu Huraira eat with his mother? He said, because I fear that if my mother has her eye on a piece of food and I may reach for it without knowing, I would have disobeyed my mother.